ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combos. Well, let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. <laughs> In my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. If it's broken in Commander, is it broken in Brawl? No questions. Hello. Welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB today in the arena. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? We're going to play Vojad, Jaws of the Conclave, in Historic Brawl, or just Brawl as it is now known, and I will make that mistake probably a hundred times for the remainder of the format. This is an elf deck. Elf, 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 with some changeling flavor thrown in and the occasional wolf like Tenacious Pup to get just a little extra oomph out of the thing. So Voja like caused a ruckus a stir on twitter the commander community upset this card's too good this card is busted wizards how could you do this i want to know how did this sneak into murders like it's it's not it's ravnica right this is a tricolor card commander card on ravnica like it it's a very biz bizarre card to come out of the murder set like what well, is it's not a it's like an innistrad card right really i know i know in the lore who the character is and i know that it's you know the wolf and tulsimir are bonded and tulsimir is from ravnica but don't you don't you see what i mean if you're gonna build the biggest baddest wolf the multiverse has ever seen shouldn't it be from innistrad i don't know i'm just throwing things out there by the way werewolves aren't wolves what the hell is that nonsense but vojad jaws of the conclave even without a lot of wolf support and just a ton of elves that make mana, draw cards, and do stuff, is insane. Did you know Rocco's an elf? Did you know that Werefox Bodyguard is an elf? Did you know that a regular cohort makes two changelings? Changelings are busted because you get both the draw triggers from the Jaws of the Conclave, and you also get the plus one, plus one counters. Usually one attack, and they're done. I've never done my daily so quickly, and I'm not kidding. Thank you to the sponsors of this video, CoolStuffInc.com and Ultimate Guard. Let's dive in and unleash the wolf, the jaws of the conclave. Let's show the power of Oja. On the draw, no turn one ramp, so we have to mulligan against Mythweaver, who's supposed to be the big bad of the format if you listen to the whiners in the comment section. Uh, no turn one ramp. No turn one ramp. Do we mulligan again? We have visionary into visionary. Are you any good? Maybe. There's crucibles and stuff. This is too slow. At least we can bolt a dork. Okay, we'll keep. The elite is not great, but might just have to play it to do stuff. You've got to keep pace. Sprawl, ruined, destroyed, crying, throwing up, etc. Not a bad draw. Now we don't have to play a boring elite. A lonely elite is probably the best phrasing. Yay, the sandboard. It's better. They quote, improved it. They could improve it more by throwing it out the fucking window and sucking it up with a vacuum cleaner. Hmm. I think it's you. I think it's you. The next turn we can go greeters into elite or we can go Nissa into elite. Depends what we draw. little ramp from the opponent. Nissa into Elite into Voja. Ignore Greeters. I like it. Greeters, you showed up too late for the party. And that's on you. Let's be real. That is on you. Although, what is this doing next turn? Nothing, I guess. Whereas this is generating a treasure for later. Alright, Greeters it is. Here's the kitty. They're definitely going to get a turn to try to do it all. The question with Myth Weaver is always like, do they have the big draw spell? Do they have the payoff for all the mana that they make? 
If they do, it's usually already over. In response. More forests acquired. You don't have to count everything every time you do something, but it's like, I guess, admiring your handiwork in their seat. I don't know. Do I have a good use for the treasure? Not right now. Just gonna have to see if I can find one. Get some power toughness in here. See if the big bad wolf can do its job. What do they have? I guess that's a relief. Seeing them just make a forest instead of make 50 forests. Whoa! I accept. 13. And? They're not afraid of my attack? And that's big. Woo! <laughs> that's a card. That is a Magic the Gathering card, Brave the Elements. Oh yeah, sack it. Crack it, sack it. Throw it in a stew. <laughs> it's not gonna help. It's not gonna help. I name a green. <laughs> oh, brave the elements. It was that or Teferi's protection. Go with the cheaper one. Brave the elements still gets them in 2024. Elves, Savala, Voja. On the play, Tamio, Omniscient stuff. Probably, proliferate, keep. We don't even need the garden. This is this is a wonderful hand. Could also go for the boots. They are interactive, I'm sure, to some extent. No turn one play. Maybe they don't understand the format. How do you do it without a turn one play? Okay. Wolfie? Team strong? You know what? It was missing. Draw a card. It's got a staple draw a card on there. Pulled steel heart. I don't know if they can do anything about this. I don't know if they can do anything about this. That's a swords? That's a swords? Okay. Let's go get the foundry. Let's see if this loam speaker is even gonna be around. Gone. Holy crap. I have a shepherd, nice. I have a lookout. The cohorts are kind of busted. So we could use a Silvala to make a lot of mana post combat and play all this. I don't even think that's the important part. I think we just, I think we just punch. I think that's just so much better. They're down to six. They're down to six. Oh my Lord. They gotta wipe the board. They gotta wipe the board. They don't got it. They're dead. They're just dead. Oh my goodness. Here, yeah, kitty kitty. Pock. Be so much pock with this deck. So, so much. I mean, yeah. Let's go. A little worried about the two Boros lands. That's about it. 
Marwyn's Kindred. Great place to put some mana. Okay, they, they got the memo. They ramped. They ramped. I learned to just shock in my lands whenever I have a shock land with this deck because there are so many ways it can go wrong. Not playing blue, so I guess we play you. You want some? Oh, oh, that's aggressive. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I love it. What we got? We got this? I think I've got a freebie here, right? Because I can tap that for green. Nope, not a freebie. Gotta be you. Ow! What you gonna do? Here comes the kitten. And this is the fun part where you get lands. Don't you you got to do the fun part, opponent. There you go. Look at you. Look at you shocking yourself. Never winter. You know, you got to run snow lands. Oh, wait. This, this is a basic force. Okay, you don't have to. Let's make into the north a lot worse, though. Pulsamir. Make a 3-3, three, three, fight a thing. That seems really good. If we attack with this first, we get to put counter on the Incubation Druid and it taps for more, and then maybe we play more stuff. So we don't have to do it before combat, so we can go... You? You? When it's done messing around. They're like, I need my I need my forest. It's getting scurry in here. Let's get some trample. Make that never winter dry it a lot worse. Yeah, they both they, they both trample. It's only 17. What you worried about? What is your concern? Okay, fine. It wasn't lethal. You could at least see if you draw the nuts, traverse the outlands or something, but nah. They're they're too afraid of the big bad wolf, man. The stats alone. Just overwhelming. Today's random cool kid shout out goes to Black Lotus. Great freaking name. I am so glad that you are a fan of the show and I don't know. Black Lotus. What does that mean in magic? It means you have to cast Oracle of the Alpha first. <laughs> so thank you for being a member of the Cool Kids Club. Black Lotus, you're cool. Been really something so far. Smash, 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 smash. Is this, is the best elf commander ever a wolf? Is that where we are? Is that where we are today? I, might be true, might be true. The Sliver. Let's go. Let's go. This is one of the classic baddies of the format, right? This hand's okay, right? This hand's okay. Ranger, Elite. There's no ramp. That's concerning. Oh well, we try it. The Puppy. Card is sweet with Incubation Druid specifically. get second white because we do run a two double white cards in the deck and the only double red card is a smashing shatter skull smashing which gets played as a land more than more often than not signet beautiful exactly what the doctor ordered newt We'll see what they think of that. Oh, they hate that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Cry. Cry in the corner. <laughs> you got wrecked. 
another first sliver. They just don't give up. The cascade life. Once you're in, there's no way out. There's no way out. Okay, the center is tapped. The center is tapped. This hand is slow. It does have rhythm, though. Hmm. Yeah, because turn three can be collector and rhythm. Turn four can be commander. That should be good enough. Enters tapped if it's the first three turns of the game. So we want to play this, and then we just need to draw one land, and our crossroads can be an untapped land. And there it is. You can crack this now. <laughs> You're welcome. Just being helpful. Paradise. Hmm. Elf or wolf. I guess we try to hold it, right? They don't currently have anything open and rhythm might cover it. So let's go with canyon. Tap careful. Rhythm. Collecta. Let's put a counter on it. And we still have one more energy for our wolf friend. Four mana, they ramp. Will ramping be enough? Could it be enough? They have double white. I think we just want green here. I guess if we name red. If we name red, we might sack the canyon later. Fine. Makes sense, I think. Haste! Charge! Yes! Are you down with the thickness? Let's see if they can wrath. They need it. And even if they have it, Tulsimir with rhythm. Woo! That's a lantern. They haven't scooped yet. I assume all these creatures are dead. Oh. Oh. The one ring. Okay. Well, I might as well draw some cards. I could put out the Tulsimir. I think holding back on Tulsimir with rhythm is fine. I think in general I need to hold back. Look at the power. Ouch. <laughs> Half land go. What's funny is I could go absolutely off with a hasty Silvala, but we'll just save that. We'll just save that. See what the opponent does. Oh, yeah, draw it up. You need cards. Farewell would be perfect for them. Had my share of farewell. Wrath of God. Okay. But your Ornithopter. Their own Salvala. Nom nom nom. Okay. Wow. How much is this? When enters the battlefield, create this 5 5 wolf token with trample. Whenever a wolf you control attacks, if this attacked target creature and opponent controls blocks. And then this is creature spells you control can't be countered, but non-token creatures have riot. So this will not have riot. We will draw a card when we play it. The three, two can attack. I'm trying to decide if I want to fire the spike field hazard. And I don't think I do. Still might need the land. Also, there's something to be said for them not seeing it coming. I'm going elf. Going elf. Give me the card. Thank you. Give me the card. Thank you. Two lands. Too close for comfort. 
down to six. We go to 26. They go to four. If they use the ring here and we get the spike field in, they could die on their upkeep. But they're going to get to play first sliver. And who knows what will happen here. Ramp spell. Okay. P -p Paradise Druid. Para Para Paradise. They get a card. They have three open. Are they going to use the ring? They're going to use the ring. Hold. They still have Solvala, so they have a lot more mana. They're going to go for a fight rigging. Oh, God, hold. Unless they find a way to like gain some life, they're still already dead. Okay, that is potentially a board wipe and they're tapped out. Let's let them make the decisions though. Obviously they want to keep the first sliver so that they can fight rig it. Two lands, does nothing. They could just discard it, nothing. Okay. <laughs> they still have a land drop after all that? Wow. All right, what's the spell? Binding, okay. Binding targets, the rhythm. Poke. Scoop! Got it! <laughs> the one ring has the one drawback. Now, I don't think they should have scooped. Maybe I would have found a way to deal the damage. Probably not. I don't think I have that. On their turn, what if they draw into a Teferi's Protection with the trigger on the stack? Or some other way to, like, end the turn or whatever. So, maybe they don't have that in the deck. Just saying. <laughs> the Q. It's all for Sliver and Mythweaver Pock. Oh, it's degenerate. It's historic brawl. I love it. Ramp. We have no Snowland. Sculptor is a little sus, but I think we keep anyway, because it doesn't actually change when we can play the Vosha because of Druid. Now show me an elf so I can zap it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Every time I have the bolt, it's the sprawl. It's always the sprawl. Could have been the 2-1 just in case we were to attack with it, but we already know we're not going to. It's just going to be boom, boom, probably. So this is, quote, the fail case for Sculptor. It's still going to be an elf powered by Voja. It'll be fine. What's your kitty going to do? <laughs> Dude, come on, guys. Don't keep hands that can't keep up. Kutzel, that's a new one and a very good card. Let's see. No turn one ramp, so we mull. No turn one ramp, so we mull. There we go. Keep. You can go. Yeah, this does shut down things during their turn, which we're not great at anyway. One more creature you control would deal damage. Whenever one or more creatures you control each with power greater than its base power deals combat damage to a player draw a card that is words they've got to make it bigger then they've got to hit me and they get to draw cards and they have turn two commander because they know how to ramp or not all right their hand is much better than mine Maybe I'm supposed to play Fauna Shaman, but there's nothing I can go get next turn that works. I need another turn. So this is this is on the draw problems. 
That said, I don't know if their commander will carry them. They haven't modified anything, and I'm not sure what their deck does to take advantage of the fact I can't do anything during their turn. Four mana. Yeah, this is Fauna Shaman time. And we can discard the Rex Sage to go get something. Where Fox Bodyguard comes to mind. Pulsamir comes to mind. They are attacking. That's a card, right? No, it has to be another creature? No, this is a 3-3. Okay. Yeah, it's not modified yet. I, I thought it was a 2-3. It's a 3-3. But yeah. Gamer. All right. Fauna Shaman or my commander. If I play my commander, what happens? Can they deal with it? We have to find out. We have to test them. Nice. Just had a mana tithe. Cool. <laughs> well, they're going to be kicking my butt and drawing cards. We have to build up and redeploy. It's asking a lot. And they make angels. Holy crap. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. I do not have two turns, right? So I have to, let's see. I can't do stuff during their turn. One, two, three, one, two. So it's, it's like this. We've got to slow him down. Oh, what does this do? Whenever a wolf enters the battlefield, well, that's probably next turn, right? No, we don't have the land for sure. We have to play the visionary this turn or we can't even play Voja next turn. We could... Oh, everything's indestructible until next turn anyway. Okay, okay, okay. So it does have to be you, I think, to slow him down. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. There's my war master. There's my bodyguard. He has to do it during our turn because of their commander. should reduce some of the massive impact. There is a creature in the graveyard now for the ooze. Two, actually. Uh, they needed a modification to keep drawing cards and they drew it? Come on. Come on, you... You... Mother... Mm. Alright, block here and block here. I don't know why they didn't put the counter on the flyer. That will make no sense to me. Maybe they're just trying to keep my board contained. Discard the... Let's see what we draw off here. So we can discard the Elder to go get something. I don't know what would help. Yeah, we need that tapped land. What would help? Two mana. The two mana elf that helps us. Or we could play the one that makes mana. Is there something better? Remember, we're also feeding the scavenging ooze. Better to just make a chump blocker. Is this once a turn? Only triggers once a turn. Can't play anything during their turn because they're commander. So even if we could get something flash, it won't do anything. I guess I get a visionary and draw another card. That's better than an elder. Just looking to make sure. I guess we could seek an elf card, and this has reach. That's helpful. Rocco? What's Rocco gonna do for me? Come on, stop drawing the nuts. A land. Well, they know they have to put the pressure on. What can we block to su be successful?
they just replay their commander, no big deal. You probably kill the War Master, but the Visionary is important here. Okay, we go to seven. There's five in the air. Play the Big Bad Wolf, chump with the Fauna Shaman. Let's see where we end up. Can get a Tulsimir with Rocco. Sure can. Might be crucial. Scavenging ooze going off here. Bodyguard gone. Come on! <sighs> Hate it when they're lucky. I don't know why they're just to be cringe. God, I'm mad about that. So lucky. I don't know if we could have won anyway, but I could have fetched Tulsimir, gained some life, taken something off the board, but they had to just draw lethal off their 100 card stack. That was BS. I know, I can't get lucky all the time. I thought we played well enough to be back in it though, and it was just a really upsetting ending. Alesha smiles at death. Let's go. Uh, so, green, elf, turn two, elf, turn three, commander. You can keep. No, not quite turn three, commander. Yeah, we need a little more help. So, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do. Get stuff out of the graveyard. We don't like really remove things so I don't know we'll see sack outlet okay easy druid fable I mean, you, you consider like smashing, but then you, there's a giver of runes and you think, uh, oh, then maybe that's not so good. But I got some shapeshifters. Couple nice creatures in the graveyard now. Gobakan gets invaded. Easy Tulsimir, I'm sure. They want to attack the invasion. I have the Boseju to get rid of the invasion. So we'll let that go. They're still not playing their commander. I guess we'll go wolf. The only way I've lost is when Vojas countered. That's the only time I've lost a game at all. Let's see if they have another one here in their non-blue deck. They have Reprieve, yeah. That's really good. Will it be good enough? Add a line, whatever. Even if they go first, get ahead, <clears throat> they still have to beat the wolf eventually.
Like they've got all this going for them. We'll go with Elf this time. We can definitely pay for a mana tie there if we need to. What do you think they copy? They can get out a Lauren. Doesn't matter. Yeheni does pretty much matter. Bitter Reunion. Okay. I mean, it's a collection of very good stuff. I'm trying to time a Boseju for the Light Shield Array. I, I'm more worried about that than Reflection. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah, Henny, it is. That part's easy. The sack outlet might get them there. We have to be mindful. I really want my shapeshifters around for next turn. So I think I also block here. See if they sack the light shield array or not. If they do, I'd no point in Bosejuing it. I mean, it would just be to save their commander, which I don't think they should save their commander, to be honest. Uh-huh. Go to eight. Scary game. Get it. Yeah, so far the only games I've even been challenged is when they counter the commander and they're on the play. For two? Yeah. Let's go. Pretty good. Rar. Wolfie Attacko. Nice. It's 11 11 Trample. They go to five. Okay, I was gonna try to hold this. I didn't draw the land. I think we gotta play it. Not very useful against Giver of Runes anyway. Yep, reflection doing a, a thing. They're gonna be attacking into a big wall this turn. But let's see what they've got for it. They've got haste with bitter reunion. They've gone reasonably wide. They have to get eight damage through six creatures. Ali's Lieutenant. I mean, you play that and then you copy that? Are you sure you don't want that? I mean, I guess. There aren't that many humans, but even Adeline, just Adeline makes it do stuff. And your commander's a human. Maybe that's the idea, get it back with Alesha. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have access to treasures, I get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, makes nine. Don't think that's good enough. We have a colorless shapeshifter, so Giver doesn't save everything or make anything unblockable. Let's see what they've got. I have exactly the two mana left here to use the one who smiles at death. And the impact call is a bit slow. It wouldn't trigger this turn. So probably the lieutenant. There you go. Okay. Did you do it? I don't think you did it. I don't think you did it. Unless I can give this trample somehow. If 
Like that. One, two, three, four, five. I think that covers me. Any trample? I don't think so. A lot of cards, a lot of keywords. One mana open. Well, one card left in hand, three mana open. Pro colorless, sure. You got it. We've survived. Uh, we have a board very capable of dealing four damage. And the opponent doesn't have Teferi's protection. Easy. What? Zagras? Thief of Heartbeats? I know nothing. Do I even need to read it? Something about cheaper with each creature in the party. Flying Death Touch haste. Other creatures have Death Touch. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a Planeswalker, destroy it. Sure. No turn one ramp. Can we keep this? I think we can because we ramp on two and three. I'll try it. Usually I mulligan. Well, I definitely mulligan to ramp on the draw, but we have two pieces here. One of them's hexproof. That's important. And the hand is reasonably thought seize proof, although taking Paradise Druid really hurts. The mighty roaming throne. The good news about their Signet and their Thief of Heartbeats is they haven't put any party members on the board yet. Lonely Elite. Sure. Soul shatter the thing away and bazooka bog me. You monster. Having double white will be important. And let's play the visionary to draw. Gotta keep making our way to lands. Gotta do it. Oh, finally, a party creature. I was starting to question if they actually did anything with those. Tough spot. Let's run out the Beast Whisper. We're gonna miss land drops. We need to start drawing cards. It begins. Death Touch is online. Should probably attack with the robber. It deals combat damage, you get a treasure, and it has death touch. That's so good. What a draw. What a draw. It begins. And we get the free card. We got four mana. Roaming Throne. Naming Elf is pretty sick, to be honest. We draw lands for the Nyssa. Oh my goodness. Devil has Death Touch? Uh-oh. That's got to be the best card in their deck, right? It has to be. Like, seriously. Stack your library, you would have Mayhem Devil every game. And Fable Passage, the one of. Put them together, what do you get? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. And yeah, see, they want this treasure token now. Feels bad. Can't give them the treasure. They'll just kill the Nissa or, or the Beast Whisperer anyway. Their choice. Don't give them the choice. It's gotta be Tulsimir. It's gotta be. We gotta kill this devil. 
bodyguard. We must fight. You messed with my roaming throne. You must be punished. It's a black red control deck using this commander. I never would have seen it. Never would have guessed. But yeah, this has death touch, so you can kill whatever they want to kill. No! Get Get that out of here. And now they have this to go with it. Oh, all right. But we can surprise them. We can drop a bodyguard on them, right? Right. Yes, we can. Plans are hard. But I have a plan. Opponent has a ha opponent has a plan. They're getting excited. Let's see it. Yeah. All in the timing, guys. It's all in the timing. Opponent agrees. It's all in the timing. Good attack. Good patience. But are they going to let me untap? They do. All in the timing. They're not going to let me get all this value, are they? Wow, they really are. Nope, can't do that. This has reach. Maybe this will tilt him. Brave. So they're just holding it up. I don't need more value, right? We got enough. Drop you guys. They're holding it up. I'm holding it up. They know it. I know it. It's all about waiting. This doesn't matter, I don't think. But if they let me untap with the brave backed by the bodyguard, they're in big trouble. Take one for the team, buddy. Because now I can go with this. It says white creatures. It says white creatures? Why didn't they block earlier when I used the Brave the Elements? I feel so stupid. This is so coming out of the deck. Now this video is all tainted. I've got to redo it all. Fine, I don't have to redo it all. I don't have to redo it all. White creatures, huh? Wow! Could still matter. Bring him out. Should have played the land first. This could have really mattered. Ah, oh, there's the trigger. And the trigger. I let that resolve. The death touch resolves. I want them to pay the ward, but they're not going to, are they? Okay. And a lightning bolt. Cool. Congrats. You deal one to my beast whisper. Would you like to pay the three? I'm holding it anyway. This is now a matter of pride. White creatures.
Yep. Back to death touch. And attack all. Attack all, huh? I could take it and go to one. I won't. My turn. <laughs> oh, fine. You coward. Uh, brave the elements. <laughs> White creatures. I bet there's only 20 comments. No, it would be more. It'll be like 30, 30 plus comments about it. Ah, uh, maybe I should take the over on that too. And we are back, post game wrap. I meant what I said. I've never done my dailies so freaking quickly. And this deck is a machine, just elves and stuff. Am I gonna cut Brave the Elements? It's almost a pride thing at this point. White creatures. I mean, your commander is a white creature. Could be very important, but maybe I'm supposed to play Mana Tithe or another thing that says creatures can't be countered, like Domery. Uh, Anarcha Bolas is a card that could go in to make sure that you resolve this because the only games that were close, this card got countered. <laughs> that was that was it. There were a few board wipe moments that scared me, but for the most part, if they Mana Tithe this or wash away this, the game gets hard. Otherwise, not even hard just way too easy so yeah until people figure out how to mulligan against this and how to prepare against it it looks like a five mana does nothing till the next turn card unfortunately that next turn is the end as far as the design debate is this too good is this not what we're looking for in commander this is a this is like where design needs to go to have four and five drops that are like playable Quite honestly, they have to draw cards. And if you don't want to just do the same thing every time where, you know, whenever you do a this, you get a this. Or whenever it enters the battlefield, you get a really powerful effect. You know, those That's design territory that Magic has covered a hundred times over. Uh, Corvold, good example of that. And instead, what you have here is a commander that comes down and then has to attack to get its value. Most people look at a card like that and say, that is not competitive in modern magic but the stats on it and the ability the ward especially are so powerful that it makes the card that good that is where things need to be for that design to be relevant or else no cards that are five mana like look at tulsimi here comes out makes a five five has some other abilities has lifelink nobody plays this nobody this is what it takes to make a five mana relevant. Kind of like what we saw last year with Shielder of the Apocalypse. What it took to make a four mana does nothing when it enters the battlefield relevant. You gotta push the box, the text box. And this card does. I think that's a good thing. And I think that commander players complain about everything. Like literally everything. They are such a meme. I love them. I love being one of them. I fit right in. I complain about everything. A lot of you love to remind me of that. So complain but i i think this is what we need i think if you're gonna print cool mythics like this you're this is how you do it thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next video you're cool hello and welcome i am your host the one and only Cobalt go blue introducing ultimate guard behold precise inner sleeves from ultimate guard black cortex sleeves from ultimate guard we have a mock sapphire conservatively priced at five thousand dollars why 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 and cgb's you're in emporium we don't just sell gear we sell victories Whoa! Oh my God. remember with ultimate guard you have to sleeve it to believe it.